Hello folks, the Snapdragon Asian 3 will likely launch later this year, so it is unsurprising to hear about its GPU and CPU clock speeds detail come forth again. However, some bits and pieces of its successor, the Snapdragon Asian 4, have leaked out, revealing which manufacturing process Qualcomm will switch to a year from now when it unveils its first ever smartphone chip with its custom Orion cores. Details of both Qualcomm chipsets were shared by none other than Vagnus on Twitter, stating that Adrenos 750 GPU will run at 900 MHz, with the Cortex-X4 CPU running at 3.4 GHz. However, the separate rumor claimed the same supercurse frequency would be 3.7 GHz instead of 3.4 GHz, so that may be an upgrade exclusive to Samsung's Galaxy S24 series. Coming to the Snapdragon Agent 4, the tipster states that it will be mass-produced on TSMC's N3E process. For those that don't know, N3E is the improved 3 nanometer process belonging to the Taiwanese giant, bringing enhancements to performance and power efficiency compared to the N3 or TSMC's first 3 nanometers iteration. We also reported on the Snapdragon Agent 4's potential multi-core performance, with the chipset being capable enough to beat Apple's M2 while obtaining a whopping 40% lead against the Snapdragon Agent 3 in the same test. Qualcomm was earlier rumored to release the Snapdragon Agent 3 in the OnePlus 5 Plus 2 CPU configuration, where the the chipset would feature one Cortex X for Super Score. However, one rumor claims that there is another version in the works, and that could potentially deliver more performance, assuming the silicon's thermals can be tamed. So, the other one with a 2 plus 4 plus 2 configuration, meaning that the more powerful variant could tower two Cortex X4 cores while running fewer Cortex A720 cores. The 2 plus 4 plus 2 configuration naturally means that the Snapdragon Agent 3 will bring more performance to the table, and it is not like like this is the first time a company will take advantage of multiple performance cores. Google followed this practice with the Tensor G2 found in the Pixel 7 series, with a chipset featuring two Cortex X1 units instead of one. Naturally, Qualcomm will only finalize one version unless the company has different plans, but our assumption is that the version which delivers the most performance for the least amount of consumed power will make it through to the press release. Assuming the Snapdragon Agent 3 with two Cortex X4 cores manages to make it past the finish line, how does Qualcomm intend to control its thermals? I just don't get it. Keep in mind that the Snapdragon Agent 3 is reported to stick with TSMC's 4 nanometers process, the same one used to mass-produce the Snapdragon Agent 2. So other than tweaking the chip's design, Qualcomm doesn't have the luxury that Apple possesses with the Taiwanese giant's cutting-edge 3 nanometers technology. Then again, the Snapdragon Agent 2 has been praised for its remarkable efficiency, so the Snapdragon Agent 3 might be able to pull it off. However, it will also be up to flagship phone makers to use robust cooling solutions to keep those terminals in check. As for which version Samsung could use in next year's Galaxy S24 series, we feel whichever one manages to be the A17 Bionic, or at least come close to its performance. An early engineering sample of the Snapdragon Agent 3 was set to be tested in Geekbench 5, and it didn't even break a sweat in beating the A16 Bionic, so we do have high hopes from the chipset. Let us hope Qualcomm delivers on that front. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.